Hello, welcome to another installment of the WAC Move It Home series. I'm Amanda Tukolsky. I am typically at the downtown location, but today I am coming to you from my home in Waukesha. I'm gonna lead you through a strength workout today. And in fact, you won't even need any equipment for it. The only thing that we'll use is a sturdy table. So maybe it's a dining room table, maybe it's a side table. Uh, mine isn't very big, uh, just the legs are fairly sturdy. So I'll show you how we're gonna use that uh, to strengthen your back, kind of like pull-ups, but we'll be underneath it. Um, and then we'll use the rest of it uh, body weight. If you do want to add any uh, weights on, you can have those nearby and you can always pick them up for the few things uh, that we do, uh, but they're definitely not necessary to get a good workout today. All right, so we'll start off with a warm up and then we're gonna move in to our actual strength workout, which will be three rounds. We'll go through each round twice and each exercise 30 seconds. And then we're gonna finish with a cool down. So nice, um, a nice uh, strength workout for you. So let's get moving and going. So go ahead and stand up and we'll start off with um, feet a little wider than your shoulders. You're gonna squat down and reach towards the ground and stand and reach towards the ceiling. So getting that whole body moving, super important to get a bit of a warm up. It kind of gets your brain engaged, like, okay, I'm gonna be moving here, I'm gonna be working, two more. And it also gets your body ready. Last one, and then big step forward, bending both knees, come down into a lunge, step together, and then switch legs. Just gets things um, moving and warm so that as you do move into more complex or more challenging exercises, your body's ready for it. All right, good. One more with each leg. And then we're gonna pull one knee in towards your chest, so nice hug with it. You're gonna set it down and then hinge forward, reach towards that foot, stand tall. We're gonna pull it in and then hinge forward, reach down. So we're getting a nice stretch of the glutes and then hamstrings back of the legs. Knee in, reach it down. One more with each leg in and down. Good, last one. And reach it down, nice. Then we're gonna come to your hands and knees on the mat. So I'm gonna set up just like this table in this tabletop position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna take one arm and you're gonna reach that arm, thread through underneath, but then drive that elbow towards the ceiling. You're gonna reach under and drive the elbow up. We're rotating around the shoulder but we're moving the thoracic spine, trying to get some movement through that upper back and elbow up. Plant that hand, we're switching sides. You're gonna reach under and drive that elbow up. Good, under and up. We'll go under and up. One more, under and up. Then hands are coming down underneath your shoulders. You're coming out onto your toes into a plank, but we're not gonna stay there long. We're gonna bring one foot forward. It might be out to the side, it might be up by your hand. We're just gonna sink through the hips and get a nice uh, stretch and opening through the hips. I really love this lizard pose for that. And from here, we're just switching out the legs. It's nice and easy here. Sinking, dropping the hips down towards the ground. You'll feel a pretty big stretch through the hips. And then we'll send the leg back. You can walk your hands and feet towards each other so you can work your way to standing. Um, from here, we're gonna swing the arms, rotate them forward, big circles, moving from the shoulders, and then big circles backward. Good, and then we're gonna swing them so they're crossing in front of each other, right over left, left over right. Three, two, one. One more thing, just a big side stretch, lengthen through your side. Bring that down and switch sides. All right, so we're gonna start off with those rows at that table. So I'm just gonna move my camera so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Okay, so you have a couple options. If your table is really long, so it's gonna stay even firmer, you can set up underneath with your hands at the back of the table. Mine's kind of short and will tip pretty easy if I put them there. So if your table's a little shorter, you're gonna to wanna to go with your hands closer to the middle um, and holding on on the sides of the table. Then you have an option of keeping your knees bent right here and hips up, 
or having your legs out straight underneath the table. Straight legs is going to be more challenging, so go with the level that works best for you. Either way, you want to keep your hips lifted. Okay, so 30 seconds, get yourself set, ready, and begin. So hips are up, you're pulling yourself up to the table. It's okay if your arms are long enough that your back touches the ground. That slight little rest is actually going to be a little more challenging to kind of regather yourself and bring yourself back up. Lead with your chest. Think about bringing the shoulder blades together right here. Exhale as you lift. Good. Stay in control as you come back down. Fight gravity. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Come out from underneath your table. We're going into push-ups next. If you would like to continue using your table, slide it. Make sure it's against a wall so that it's nice and sturdy and stable. I'm not going to slide away from you. You're going to set up with your hands a little wider than your shoulders onto your toes and come down into a push-up. If you'd like it to be a little more challenging for those push-ups, you're going to come down to the ground. 30 seconds right here. Ready, set, Begin, so hands are a little wider than your shoulders. Body is straight, whether your hands are on your table or on the floor. Good, either way, those elbows are going back at a slight diagonal. They're not going straight out to the sides from you. You wanna use your pectorals here, your chest. Not so much the top of your shoulders. That's gonna be really stressful on your shoulders here. Good, keep that core engaged, hips come down as your chest lowers down. Five more seconds, three, two, and one. Go ahead and stand up from here. Next up, we're going into a curtsy lunge and then a side squat. So what that's going to look like, we'll start off with the right leg. So let me move over this way. We'll start off with that right leg. So we're gonna step back into a curtsy lunge. So instead of going straight back, you're crossed behind slightly. You're gonna come down, down, and then we're gonna step out to the side into a side squat on that leg. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. We're going down, down, and then shift over to the side, chest lifted, hips go back. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Down, down, and side squat, good. Down, down, and side squat. With that side squat, we're stepping wider than the shoulders, shifting your hips over, and thinking squat on that right leg. So. All 10 toes point forward. Feet are parallel to each other right here with that side squat. Oop. Down, down, and side squat balance is part of this too. <laughs> Two more. We can fit one last one in here, I think. And break on that side. We're going to switch sides. So here we go. We're stepping back uh, with that uh, right leg. Down, down. Oh, I'm sorry, I got flipped around. We're stepping back with the left, with the, yeah, with the right leg. Down, down, and side squat. Down, down, and step to the side, good. I guess I'm a little turned around. The left leg is what you're using here. So that left leg curtsy down, down, big step to the side, good. Down, down, shift the hips back, chest lifted. Good, down, down, and side squat. Five more seconds. Good, last one. All right, let's run through those again. So we're going back to our table rows. Get yourself set up underneath. Either knees are bent or legs are straight. Ready, set. Begin, hips are up, pull up to that table, squeeze the shoulders together. Good, exhale as you lift. Nice work. Good, five seconds. Three, two, one, good. Come out from underneath there. And then you'll either use your table again, or you'll use the floor. Hands will be a little wider than your shoulders. You'll be onto your toes, ready, set, begin. So you'll take it down and up right here. 
or you'll be on the floor. Remember those elbows go back at a bit of an angle, not straight out to the side. Hips come down with you. Looking good. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, we'll come back up. We're going back to the side squats. So we'll start off uh, the curtsy lunges with the side squats. So we'll start off with that right leg. So we'll cross behind. Here we go. Down, down. Big step to the side. Sit back towards that heel. Good. We'll go curtsy and side squat. Good. Down, down. Shift to the side. Good. And then hands can go wherever they're comfortable. Maybe they're in your hips or in front or just out to the side uh, for some stability. Whatever works best for you. Five seconds. And we'll switch sides. So from here, we're taking the left leg. Ready? Here we go. Down, down. Big shift to the side. Good. Down, down. Good. So chest is up, hips go back. That knee, left knee stays pointed towards your toe. Straight out. Good. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Grab a sip of water. And then I'll show you the next round of three that we have. They will all be on your mat. So I'm gonna get rid of the table off to the side here. And you're coming down to your mat. So while you're grabbing water, we're starting off with a single leg hip lift. So you'll be laying on your back, focusing on glutes with this one. So that means that heels are gonna be about six to eight inches from your hips, so fairly close to your hips. We're gonna start off with the right leg on the ground, the left leg up towards the ceiling. That's kind of the most challenging position. If you'd like a little more support and not quite that level, cross your ankle on your knee here. Then you're driving through your heel to lift your hips, hips are level, and lower back down. Okay, so 30 seconds per side, we'll get started there. Ready, set, begin. So driving through the heel, lifting the hips, we're not arching the back right here. Just focusing on using that right glute at the top, really just squeezing that glute. Good, exhale as you lift. Remember, go through your heel on the ground. Yes, nice job. Five more seconds. Three, two, one, switch out the legs. Ready, begin. Nice, drive through the heel. Remember you can always have this leg crossed over. Gives you a little more support, but still a lot of work for that left hip. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. We'll bring that down. All right, the next one is kind of fun. You're gonna sit up from here. Hands are going to go uh, back behind you. Um, fingers, doesn't matter which way they point, whatever's comfortable. You're going to lift your hips up off of the ground, and they don't have to be very high, because once the hips are up, you're gonna take that left arm, reach it up towards the ceiling, follow it over as you flip so that you're set up in this uh, hovering table. So your knees are off the ground, you're on your toes and your hands. You're taking that same left hand, reaching it back, follow it around to flip it back. All right, so we're going 30 seconds per side here. Okay, ready, set, begin. So hips are up, left arm comes up, follow it around, flip it over, hover the knees, then the left arm, reverse it. Reach it up, flip, bring it back, flip. Good, so we're asking a lot of the right shoulder right here and a lot of your core as well. We're really getting the shoulders and the hips and the core 
to all work together and function as a unit. So you're going to continue to breathe. Reach that arm up, flip it, and back. We've got three, two, one, and now we're switching sides. Okay, hips are up, right arm, here we go. We reach it up, flip it, hover the knees, and reverse it. Reach it up and flip, and reverse, good. Once you flip over here, so you're in this table position, you're trying not to touch your knees down, just hovering the knees, keeping a nice long spine, flat back. Five seconds, three, two, and one, good. All right, then we're going next, you can go ahead and stand up first because that'll get easier to get into this. We're coming down into a squat with an option to add a donkey kick at the end. So, feet will be a little wider than your shoulders. You're going to come down, I'll give you, I'll show, kind of show you the full version and then what you can do um, to make it work for you. So, coming down um, into a pretty deep squat, hands are gonna plant on the ground, so hips are back, chest is kind of up. From here, you're gonna put your weight into your hands, add a little kick of the feet, and then stand here, but not all the way up tall. So you're gonna add a kick, and then right here. Options to work with that. You can come down, you can do one leg at a time, and then come back to here. If you don't wanna do the kick, and you don't um, maybe have some shoulder issues, I want you to take it down to the ground, reach the hands down, and then bring them back up. Reach them down and back up. So you're staying in that nice low squat. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Ready, set, begin. We bring it down, add that kick if you choose, right here. Not all the way back up. Good, we got lots of glutes and quads happening with this one. Remember your option to do one leg at a time if you wanna add that in. Or maybe they don't kick very high, that's totally fine. Or you just stay here, reach the hands, you stay here. Nice. Three, two, one, very nice. Whew, shake that one out. All right, go ahead and come down to the mat. We're gonna run through those again. We're back to our single leg hip lift. All right, so lying back. We'll keep the right leg, right foot on the ground about six to eight inches from your hip. Left leg will come up or you can cross it over. Ready, set, here we go. Good, exhale, lift the hips. Good, driving through the heel. Five seconds. Three, two, one, switch out the legs and lift. I think one of these, one of the things that I'm really liking about these home workouts is I can do it in my bare feet or in my socks. It feels kind of nice and it's great for your feet too. Good, driving through that heel. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, go ahead and sit up from here. We're getting set up in our reverse table and we'll flip it to that hovering table. So hands are along your sides. We'll start with reaching that left arm up and over first. Ready, set, begin. So left arm, reach it, follow it through. You're in that hovering table and then we're flipping it back. So knees are just a couple inches off the ground. Keep everything really tight and contained. Reach it over and flip it back. There you go. Three, two, and one. We're switching sides, ready, begin. Right arm reaches up, flip it, and back. Over, good. Five seconds. Three, 
two, one. Great job. Go ahead and stand up. We're going down into our squat with that addition of the donkey kick if you choose. Feet a little wide of your shoulders. Ready, set, begin. We come down. Add that kick if you want. Stay right here. Don't come all the way back up. Maybe it's one leg at a time. Or maybe it's right here. Don't come up. Keep that squat low. Beautiful. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and break. Good. Go ahead and get some water. We have one round left. You're doing great. Stay strong here. All right, because we have some jumping lunges coming next. So option not to jump, of course. You can make it the right level for you. But what it'll look like if you do do the jumping part, you're going to start off with your feet uh, pretty wide from each other so that when you bend your knees, knees over your ankle, and we have 90 degrees back here, so 90 and 90. From here, you're going to jump and switch and jump and switch. So different levels that you can do. You can start off in your lunge, but you can step together and add a little hop at the front of it, or you can slow it down a little, not have the jumping part, and step back behind you and go into alternating reverse lunges. All right, 30 seconds total here. Last round, let's do it. Ready, set, begin. So we jump and switch. Jump and switch mid-air if you can. Otherwise, you bring that foot forward, you have a little hop in front, or you slow it down just a bit and not have that jump at all. Either way, still strengthening the glutes, the quads, your joints, your ankles. Posture stays tall, looking good. 30 seconds per side. Ready, set, begin. So that leg is bent on top. It's hovering. Upper body twists. Try to get that upper body to reach underneath. But this leg stays up and really strong. Hips stay pressed forward slightly. So a whole lot of glutes, glute medius. Nice work. You got this. Three, two, one. Bring it down, switch sides. All right, set up in that side plank. Ready, begin. So top leg is going to hover, reaching the top arm under, and up, press the hips forward a little. Good, so we want that glute medius on the outside of your hip to activate. And if your hips, if you're hinged forward here and sinking back, that won't happen. Looking good. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good. Come to your hands and knees. Last one of this round. We're going into a hovering table. We've been here before in the last round, but with your hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, and then we're going to tuck the toes and bring the knees off the ground. Once we're here, we're going to step back into a plank and then walk back in so those knees are right under your hips again. So 30 seconds. Ready, set, here we go. Knees hover, step back to plank, walk them back in, knees right under your hips. Step, 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 step. Chest stays over your hands. Keep the knees close to the ground. 
Nice, keep breathing with it. We'll do this together. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Nice work, all right. Let's go ahead and stand up, run through that round one final time. Back to our jumping lunge, or it's a hopping lunge, or it's a stepping lunge. All right, ready, set, begin. Big step back, jump and switch, jump and switch. Nice. Chest is tall. Bend the knees. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Slide out the mat. Coming down onto your side. We're headed back into our plank. Elbow and knee. Ready, set, begin. So press the hips forward. Reach that arm under and up towards the ceiling. Rotate that upper body, that thoracic spine. Really reach behind you. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. We'll flip and switch sides. All right, ready, set. Begin. So hips are up, press the hips forward, top leg hovers, and twist. Good. Hips stay up, keep them pressed forward a little bit. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Bring the hips down, come to your hands and knees. We're setting up in a hovering table. So hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Tuck the toes and we'll step back into plank. Ready, set, begin. Step, 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 step. Bring the knees right underneath the hips as you come in. There you go, good. Keep the chest over the hands, stay strong, use your breath, keep breathing with it. Three, two, one. Drop to the knees, uncurl the toes, send the hips back and the arms will lengthen in front of you. Cool down just as important as that warm up, kind of taking your body back down. Heart, allow the heart rate to start coming down. Then we'll walk the hands in, slide the right leg forward in between your hands. You're going to inhale, rise up, low lunge. Exhale and press the hips forward. Option to interlace the hands behind you and open through the chest. You can gaze towards the ceiling. Also during the cool down, it's your chance to savor that feeling of like, yeah, I did something. I did, it was good. It was good workout. I worked hard. I feel good. Good. And then we're going to hinge forward. Hips are going to shift back. Leg will extend in front of you. Pull your toes towards your face. Modified half split. Keep that spine as long as you can here. Spine's a little rounded too. You're, <laughs> whatever you can do is what you can do that day. Give it the best you have. Good, and then we're gonna take that front leg and you're gonna walk it across so that you can set it down sideways. We're coming down either into a full pigeon or you're gonna tuck that back leg in, you're sitting on your side hip and you have this mo kind of modified pigeon where then you can come to your elbows or fold completely forward. So either having the back leg tucked up and bent behind you or keep it extended out and then you're off your hip and then coming down to your elbows or completely fully down into full pigeon. We'll 
walk the hands in, plant them underneath your shoulders, uh, tuck your toe or uh, start to unwind if both knees are bent. You're gonna shift, walk back so you can shift your hips back, dropping your heels towards the ground and sinking your chest in between your shoulders into a down dog. And then from here, we're going to step the other leg forward, that left leg forward, come down onto your knee, uncurl your toes, inhale up, and then exhale and press the hips forward. Interlace the hands behind you if you'd like to open through the chest. And then shift the hips back, the front leg straightens, pull the toes towards your face, and then we hinge forward, lengthen through the hamstring on the back of your leg. And then we'll bend that front knee, walk the heel over to, the foot over to the side, set it down sideways, extend your leg back behind you, or you're gonna pull it in, come onto your left hip, pull it in, tuck it in so that you can hinge forward and still get a nice stretch of your left hip. So either come to your elbows, or come completely fold forward, whatever feels right for you. If you're in full pigeon with your leg extended, remember you're not sinking over to your hip. You're gonna stay up over your left shin. And then we'll walk the hands back in, tuck your toe, unwind your legs, and then send both legs back once again into a down dog. So heels are dropping towards the ground, sinking between your shoulders to bring your chest towards your knees, hips up in the air. We'll bend the knees a little. You can walk your feet towards your hands, slowly roll it up. And once you come up tall, we're gonna inhale up, and then we'll drop the right hand down and reach up and over, lengthen your side, roll that top shoulder back. And inhale up, exhale, drop over to the left. Inhale up, we'll take one more breath together with a nice inhale and exhale. Awesome, great job. Thank you so much for joining me, but more importantly, thank you for showing up for yourself. Do something good to take care of yourself and your health today and making that time for it and making it a priority. Uh, continue to do that, stay strong, take it one day at a time. And um, speaking of one day at a time, next day tomorrow, uh, Justin will join you for core and stretch. So I hope that you can continue to follow along with us and allow us into your homes. Thank you so much, have a great day.